introduce you to Daniel. Um, Daniel is actually here on exchange from the US and this is his second semester. Um, we've invited him along today just to give you a bit of an idea about what to expect um, and give you some advice for the upcoming semester. So welcome Daniel. That didn't work. Perfect. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm here to talk to you about what life of a study abroad student is like. So it is my honor to welcome you to Queensland University of Technology study abroad experience. My name is Daniel Ho, and like you, I'm also a study abroad student coming from the US. And as you may know, the study abroad students, you're really living life down under in the Southern Hemisphere. So on behalf of the previous study abroad students, I asked them, what pieces of advice would they like to give you guys? So what I'm about to share with you are the seven tips that they had to share. One, don't be afraid. Socialize with others. We're all here to enjoy the Australian experience together, meet new cultures, and make new friends. I'm sure everybody here today has been a little bit nervous and probably have had the thought about whether or not you can make new friends here. Two, try new experiences. Have you ever wanted to go surfing? Do it. Have you ever wanted to go skydiving? Do it. Scuba diving? Definitely do it. As Johnny Wu said in the movie Pain and Gain, don't be a donter, do be a doer. Three. Call your mom. She's probably worrying about you every day, and it would be good if you called every now and then. It'd make her happy. <laughs> Four, please get your homework assignments done ahead of time. The last thing you want to be doing while traveling is worrying about your homework assignments. It really takes away from the experience that you have abroad. QUT didn't accept you into this university if they didn't think you could ex balance both Friends, school, and travel. Five, meet some native Aussies. Sure thing is, they probably have a car and they'll be more than happy to drive you and your international friends to places. Not to mention, they probably haven't left the city of Brisbane. Six, get out of bed each and every day, whether you want to go out or not. The number one regret that all exchange students had this past semester was they didn't make enough use of their experience here. And they really do want to come back to Australia. And finally, seven. This is something not a single exchange student didn't mention, so I'm going to really emphasize it. I'm going to go by a little bit fast. Travel as much as possible. Because before you know it, the semester is going to be over, and you're going to be on a plane back home before you can even blink your eye. So don't have that happen. And while you're at it, attend the toga party this Thursday. It's the world's largest toga party in the world. And students from QUT, UQ, and Griffith University is going to be there. There's about a 7,000 person turnout. Tickets are only $15, and it takes place right here, right at QUT. And lastly, the most important thing is, I'm going to be your photographer here for this semester, so you're going to see a lot of me around here. But as an exchange student, I really hope that I get to meet each and one of you guys and get to know you a little bit better and make this experience worthwhile. All these photos that you saw previously were photos that I've taken during my adventures here in Australia. So I really hope that you don't miss out on the opportunity to be exploring this country. And remember, Life begins outside your comfort zone. Thank you. <laughs>